That's about as long as I can hold a smile these days. I'm in the part of the school year where I'm kind of in a routine and I'm not. And I try to find the quietest and the darkest places to hide in during my prep. Now normally that's in my room and I lock the door and turn out the lights and then hide in a corner. But today I found this colorful, quiet haven. And it has an emergency exit, so if I want to make a rash decision and run away from my life, there it is. I love it when the kids leave my room and I take that as my only opportunity to wolf down a block of cheese. That may or may not have just happened. So while I am filled with my cheese block regret, I have a few thoughts. My decorations are falling off walls and the kids don't really care about keeping things neat anymore. <laughs> And I'm constantly repeating my directions at all times and it, the escalation kind of looks like this. All right guys, let's put away our books and I want you to stand in number order so we can get ready to leave the room. Again guys, put away your books please and get in line. Put away your books and get in a number order line. Why is it so loud? Why is it so loud? We're getting in line. I am now standing up. Why do you have to have your hands on people while you're getting in a number order quiet line to leave the room? Get in line! I really don't yell at my children like that, I promise. Sometimes. And in recent classroom mysteries, someone just like unscrewed a light bulb from one of my lamps and just stole a light bulb. Why? Sometimes I have preps where I get to work with my co-teacher and we get to collaborate and kind of grade things together. But Friday is me day. It's so cool. But Jess, aren't preps supposed to be for prepping your work? Uh-huh. Aren't you scared you're not getting anything done? Nope. Also in fashion news, rather than wearing a giant sweater and leggings, I put on this really cool shirt. I got this. Miss Smith, that shirt is distracting. Miss Smith, your shirt confuses me. This is just when I forget all of the things that I'm supposed to be doing. Like this morning when I pulled into school relatively early because I needed to get things done and I am like totally responsible. <laughs> And as I was pulling in, it hit me. My PLC team, oh cool, another teacher acronym, had promised to provide breakfast for the staff this morning. And Jess, from three days ago, promised to bring a fruit salad. <laughs> what an idiot. And I'm like looking at my lunch. I have an apple and a banana for fruit. And I'm like praying that it's like a Jesus feeds the 5,000 type of situation. God. Throwing my money at the cashier while sweating and panting was not my proudest moment.